a very important meeting. What's up? I think we should have a meeting, real quick. A very important Bizarre Magic meeting? In 4K. Here's the thing. The only way you're going to get me to do another Bizarre Magic meeting mm -hmm. is by making it, like, a lot higher resolution. Well, funny you should say that. What are we working on? Um, that's a good question. It's Christmas. Yeah, so I guess we should update. You're back from vacation. <laughs> Is that how long it's been? Yeah. Oh my God. It's been a really long time. Right. Uh, yeah, so turns out uh, vacation was working on a television show. Spoiler and, alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, it's busy times. We're... I don't know, this feels like an actual business meeting. That's not as fun. Oh. Uh, also, Bryce is here. Hi. Boom. Boom. I feel like we should start on business, but very quickly diverge elsewhere. All right, so just to catch us up, uh, we got, we got uh, Scam Schools doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, Scam School Remix. Yeah. Rockin' and sure. Regular. Yeah. Rockin' and Regular, a little R&R. &R. Which we need to shoot more of those before uh, next yeah. week. Oh, yeah. Uh, Scam School remixes are doing like really well. Like like yeah. uh, many times they're more popular than the actual Scam School episodes. Um, what else are we doing? We got uh, Core Killers. We got uh, Weird Things Podcast now. Which is Patreon. Patreon. Wow. Yeah. Um, Night Attack is doing this Night Attack thing. Yeah. I have an album. I don't know if you noticed. Oh yeah. I didn't know if you knew because you didn't touch. Oh yeah, no. I feel like I didn't, um, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, could we, could we check in with the guy actually? Yeah. Hey, the album happened. <laughs> all right. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Right. You did all the music just like last time, right? Uh, no. Wait. Well, no. no. We we had uh, Carson Tropics. What? What? <laughs> uh, do the awesome remixes and like he made me. I listened to him and I'm like, oh man, I wish I could be. I you know, like you wish you could I just play in that space. Yeah. yeah. I I do that a lot. Where I'm just like, I want to copy that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we launched at number two. That's pretty good, right? Um, sure as hell is better than number three, am I right? Uh, yeah, number four. Um, it's funny because like people are saying that it's our best night attack yet, but we had the unfortunate circumstance of coming out the same day as you know a a force three times bigger than us, right? Um, three is a small number, but yes. Uh, well, no, 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 well, I mean, compared to Night Attack, but like, uh, like they have what, 3.3 3 million subscribers, yeah. and... They were top 10 all albums. They were number nine pretty much that whole day. No kidding, yes. so there was no way we were gonna beat them. No. So, we had the unfortunate circumstance of coming out against a juggernaut. Um, I'm, I've been calling it a top album. A top album? A top album. A top album. It's okay, man. Uh, what's funny is because we hit the top hundred on Amazon, Amazon and iTunes, yeah. like of, of all albums, almost almost forty. We were like forty-seven all albums. No kidding. Yeah, I didn't know that. Forty-seven, forty-six, I think was the peak, maybe. Right on. Um, hmm. So at any rate, uh, did well. It's it's just a bummer to me that what people are saying are the highest quality album we've done will not have the same you know bullshit you know uh, Billboard ranking or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's happening. Uh, scam stuff did really well in the holiday season. Yeah. Thanks to everybody who, uh, uh... Dinosaur who... Planet. Wait, is that the code? That's the did, code. Did you, did you give it away all our passwords Oh, no! <laughs> uh, um, the, uh, Scam School is... This is the one that freaks me out, man. Scam School. Oh, shit. Almost one awards. million. Yeah, uh, we finally claimed our old, uh, uh award. <laughs> How long, when should you have claimed that? Because you're like nine times that right now. I guess, I guess two years. Two um, years ago. Yeah, well, we just watched that video talking about, um, you know, you were talking about how stuff. things really started to ex accelerate in 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're just about to cross over a million, which is pretty rad. That's cool. Uh, and, uh, uh, oh, also, I'm old. I'm about to turn 40. That's pretty mm -hmm. rad. Mm -hmm. Uh, insofar as that it's a new high score for my age. Uh, live longer what are your initials going to be? What's that? What are your initials on the high score going to be? On the billboard going to be? Uh, B-A-B. B-A-B? Yeah. Yeah. 
Not what? Not ASS? ASS. Oh, ASS. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go on that. I was always mad because Jay was able to put his first name, J A Y, in there. Mm. Um, what else? I guess I guess we're doing great. Oh, uh, we have a TV show coming out. Yeah. Soon. 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 It's really weird to just sit here and casually kind of rattle off these things. All these huge things. Well, be, well, because on the one hand, like, like they're difficult for me because I've been working on many of them for uh, two years, se- uh, five years, seven years, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, Night Attack turns five years old, right? Because the BB Live show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know when in the year. No, no. Uh, well, BB Live show first premiered. On January first, two thousand nine. Oh, wait. So that's six years. No. Dun, oh my God! It is. Dun dun dun. To fourteen to fifteen. So it'll have been the six-year anniversary. Are you, you missed, kidding me? You missed number five, and you didn't realize that. Missed opportunity, man. That's crazy. I, I I was all I was all reeling because I thought it was five years. Um, also, today marks the year anniversary of us taking over Skam School. That's right. That's right. Well, as a matter of fact, right around this time, we uh, we bought a, a crap ton of equipment, spent money we didn't have, um, and this year, a, a year later, we were able to upgrade a four K and yeah. put a uh, sweet ass Voigtlander lens on there. Uh, which, by the way, how do you like that lens? It's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> what, in Cord Killers was uh, yesterday? Over the last year? Yeah, uh, no, Cord no, Killers, no, one year today. anniversary was uh, two days ago. Oh, uh, no, that was yesterday. See, now you have it. I was like, that was the last night, was it? It was like, that was a million days ago. It was last night when we did Cord Killers and Night Attack. Um, it's, it's weird because I'm realizing that... Um, in the roller coaster metaphor, you know, you spend all this time getting up, building all this potential energy. We're now at the point where it's just gonna, it's, it's fast, faster now than it's ever been, and it's only gonna get more faster from here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's crazy, man. Um, I feel, answer me this. Yep. If I could have bought, instead of the 4K camera, if I could have bought the uh, a drone, mm-hmm. should I have gotten a drone, or are you happier with 4K low mix and low lens? I mean, I feel like this is way more practical. I mean, a billion practical. times more practical. Practical. Let's use the P word. Okay, <laughs> tell me this. How about this? Mm-hmm. Would you rather have the aerial drone with 4K camera? And by the way, all of these are about two thousand um, uh, dollars, or except for I don't know if this one is. Uh, what's the crazy thing? Movie. How much of those? A lot. Oh, oh is okay. that the crazy steady yeah. thing where you yeah. can go? Yeah. See, now that would yeah. be practical, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit too fast. <laughs> I, wish, I wish you had been pointing the camera at your grid. I even suggested that. Uh, I don't know. We're not there yet. Um, but God damn, it feels so good to, uh, to have forward momentum. Like, it's cool to see all these little side projects coming together. Um, we all, like, I guess we're kind of talking around. Top secret project X. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what's funny is I uh, made my BCTV page, a Wikipedia page for myself. Yes. This week, and I. You didn't know what to say about that. Uh, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> so I put, and he's working on a super secret project. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah. Um, it's weird because. Not exclusives on Avim. Well, you know what's funny is like I never understood, or it's it's difficult to wrap your mind around someone like Liam Hen. Uh, wait, what's his name? Uh, who's Thor? Liam Hemsworth? Chris? Chris Hemsworth. Who's Liam Hem? Is that his brother? Uh, uh, no, am I thinking of Captain America? Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Captain America is uh, Chris Hemsworth. Oh, you're Hemsworth. thinking of Chris Evans. Yes. But, but it's also Chris Hemsworth in Pretty Bird. Okay. Chris Hemsworth. There we go, yeah. Um, hold on. Shush, shush, shush. Copyright infringement. <laughs> um, Takedown. Yeah. Yeah, they are brothers. Oh. Chris Hemsworth huh. and Liam Hemsworth, and, and whatever. Yeah. But, but like, like, like on my radar, I knew he was the Thor guy. But then, like the Avengers and Cabin in the Woods all happened at once, and then hot on the heels of that was the next Thor. So, like, essentially, his life in a year and a half just went from being a oh that guy to all of a sudden like a top tier Hollywood star. And now you're Chris Hemsworth. 
No. <laughs> but I am somebody who has spent a long ass time working on a lot of projects that have stayed in limbo and then finally have come out, right? So it's like um, uh, the, the TV thing, obviously, uh, like uh, uh, Scam School's growth happened at the same time that we went and shot the TV show. Uh, and, 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 you know, we banked five months of Scam School. We shot five months of Scam School in two and a half, three months, mm -hmm. which was extraordinary, right? Crazy. And then, but, but we needed to so that we'd have time to do the TV show. So the TV show is happening and Scam St uh, School is now, uh, seems to be hitting this big benchmark. Um, I don't know, it's just, uh, everything moves so quickly, it's very difficult. And I find myself increasingly admitting that I can't keep up with it and that I needed to, to uh, just, uh, there's a reason you're here, Bryce. <laughs> it's okay, because okay. It's, it's right. because I can't keep up anymore. Is 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 what I'm saying. And it's like I don't know. Like at some point, the whole I'm the host of Scam School. It's right. <laughs> that's what I was getting at. <laughs> at some point, things seem to spiral out of control, and it's difficult to keep up. And I'm really excited uh, because you, you you know you work for 15 years towards something uh, every day performing in the hallway of a community college because you believe it'll contribute towards getting you in a direction. Like a chump. Then, yeah, exactly, right? Uh, and you have fruit thrown at your stage in West <laughs> Virginia because they genuinely didn't like your show. Hold on. Uh, oh, did you not hear on this? Earth, yes. on Earth, in this universe, on yes. this timeline, yes. you performed a show where yes. someone threw fruit at you. Uh, oh, was it a tomato? They, they had that? the courtesy to wait until I left the stage. But they did not like the show, and that motherfucker chucked an orange and splattered oh, one of my props. Orange, yeah. That was such hard skin. And I was like, I was like, that's a thing that it really happens. It was a uh, like I have this weird visual image of just like hearing a thwack and looking over, and then seeing an orange impaled, and and just watching the juice and pulp down, and I was like, wow. I really, I really hope people throw oranges at their TVs when they see hacking the system. Uh, you know what? If they do, as long as they don't sue, I'm happy. Yeah, sure. And, and please don't tell me about it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, so here's my point. is For 15 years, you know, everything has been about paying it forward. Like if there's any goodwill, if there's any lesson to be learned, if there's anything valuable to be gained from having fruit thrown at your stage or performing in the rain and your electronics get fucking fried halfway through a show for five people, uh, for showing up, you know, performing in community college hallways, for um, performing at some uh, university in Maryland arguing with Bonnie because we don't, it's pre GPS era and then eight people show up to the show because nobody knew to promote it, but me needing the money so bad that it was like I was going to go through with it. Um, like, that's, that's my life, and this is the first year where I'm wondering, where like, oh, can I not assume that that's the way it's always going to be? You know, could it be that maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe there's some exciting things going on? I don't know. in the home. Uh, and yeah, yeah, exactly, right? You know, it's like, uh, and I'll tell you, the biggest thing has been the Patreon flip. Like, uh, Cord Killers and Night Attack having a stable thing. Like, a switch got flipped in a two-month period, and suddenly I went from needing to tour on the road and be away from the kids to suddenly I could just sit and create. And all of a sudden, this year has been the most creative, uh, unbelievably expansive year. Um, you know, finding a community for the Diamond Club group has been utterly extraordinary for me. Yeah, they're all right, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's weird. I, so this is the superstitious part of me. Like, I'm fairly skeptical. I don't know if you've heard. Um, what? Yes. No. Uh, but there's a part of me that doesn't want to jinx what's happening by talking about it seeming to be trending in the right direction. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be one of those bombastic asshats who proclaims a new era of, is happening or whatever because uh, uh, because that guy, those guys are assholes. Um, I don't know. I, I will say this much. If things continue like they are going so far, 2015 will be an unbelievably exciting year. 
and I'm cautiously optimistic and very, very excited about it. And it's difficult because, like, even now, um, at Christmas time, like, I feel indulgent by doing things like walking over to Trudy's with the family and just hanging out and, and do that stuff. Um, but that's a sign of success. Theoretically, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. You take it. You take it. You know, it's it's it's. I don't know. It's it's. Uh, Fifteen years is a long time to do nothing but figure out ways to serve other people <laughs> and try to <laughs> and try to bring value and and uh, uh, and then to to feel like oh now you have time for a family is is a transition that I'm going through. Um, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's been it's been a good year. I'm excited about next year. I think. Hmm. I don't know if that's what you were going for or not. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>